What is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel this is Pixie OS V 3.1.3 official version which is available for a lot of devices right now I am just install I've just installed it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro and this is a mere tool build so can be installed on Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 S, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro. If you have any of these devices you can install this same build or if you have any other device you can go and install this the link for this official website is in the description you can go install this now let's find out which other things you get in pixie os will you get any customizations and which other features you get here almost everything in this video so let's get started guys depend upon the device which you have you'll get that kind of thing so right now i'm using redmi note 9 pro i have the launcher pre-installed which has a lot of customizations we already know about that it is a very cool kind of alternative of pixel launcher so has a lot of customizations and if you hold on we have the widgets with the arrange pages and we have the styles and wallpapers app available here we've got this kind of a default wallpaper this is a default wallpaper from pixie os which you get here and you can use any other wallpaper papers from here by going to wallpapers app right now i've installed this app from the google play store you can also install it if you want to and also let me show you by going into styles and wallpaper if you go to the styles option here you have these three four styles available as pre-installed or you can create your own custom style if you want to and we have a lot of font options available so yes you can create your own fonts you can create your own style right now by just establishing a lot of things like that you can customize these a lot of things and you will be able to make your own style you have the option of clock options also we have mnml's minimal and box orono as funny divided lines a lot of clock styles options are available here too so we're gonna choose the samsung colored clock here and let me try out how this will work and this is how this clock will work look like these are the things which you can customize if you want to and everything else is perfectly fine here as you can see in my case if i go here and if i try out my fingerprint this is perfectly fine here now let's try out this one and yes it's perfectly fine here i didn't got any issues here at all and this is normal speed i'm not saying it's quite fast i'm not saying it's quite slow it's normal like the stock one if you go to the quick settings you can customize a lot of things we have the option of adaptive brightness here and there so you can adjust that and these are the things which you can adjust of course we have a lot of extra options available and we have the option of that users like let me show you which one i am talking about like this we have the option of choosing the user we can choose add user option also so this is also very interesting thing some options you get here if you go here and if you click here we have the option to customize your columns and rows directly from here so these are some cool kind of things you get here wi-fi bluetooth and a lot more things are perfectly fine here if i try to add some tiles i can simply click here and i can add directly without having any issues so for example if i i have wi-fi enabled and if i want to turn on my hotspot let's see yes it's perfectly fine both of the things are perfectly fine working at a same time so this is also one of the coolest things out there a lot of things we have in this build are tremendous if you go for the magisk manager right now i'm using this magisk manager v8.0.2 and the magisk version v20.4 and if you go for the safety net status in my case the safety net status is passed and i'll be able to use the banking apps without any issues so this is also one of the cool kind of things out there you can use this if you want to and i have not tried out the magisk v21.0 i'm not sure about that if the safety net status will pass for you or not so you can go and try it out if you want to if you're using a redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 s poco m2 pro redmi note 9 pro max you will see the google camera go edition as a pre-installed camera which is of course perfectly fine here you have the option to let's check out how many photos you have currently in your camera storage i think it's showing me like yes it's showing me my whole google photo storage because i don't think so 15,000 photos i have in my device memory for sure little bit of options available here and there this is google cameras go edition which you have pre-installed and yes it's better to use a normal g cam instead of this go edition because this go edition for this is this go edition is available for some devices which have the issues with the full g cam version because it has the less features by the way but yes it's perfectly fine here you can also choose this if you want to but we have a lot of gcam options available too if you want to try out those gcams you can try out those too if you move on to the settings let me show you which are the things which are the features you get here 
Guys, Pixie OS comes with some customizations. Of course, let me show you. We have the option of explore. Let's explore the goodies. We have a lot of customizations options available, like in the main menus, but in some menus have a little bit of extra features, little bit of less features. We will try out these kind of things later. We have the network and internet option, connected devices. Let me show you one more thing. If I go to my mobile network here, if I go for here, we have the option of choosing the Wi-Fi calling. We can use the Wi-Fi calling option available here too so if your device carrier support the wi-fi calling you can simply click here and you can enable that wi-fi calling option if your device carrier supports only then it will work and if your device carrier does not support it then you have no issues with that and you have no use of these kind of things but in my case my idea carrier does not support the wi-fi calling but yes in my airtel sim it's perfectly fine so i've tried it and it's tested and it's perfectly fine if you go for the battery backup, in my case, the battery backup is also perfectly fine here. I have tried to check it out how much battery backup percentage, uh, whatever I got till now. And I'm fully satisfied with that. I have tried to check out, check it out yesterday. I got approximately 11 hours plus screen on time which is very impressive but i sometimes use very light of my device i sometimes use iphone iphone so that's why maybe device your usage will also impact on your screen on time if you go for the display settings we have the adaptive dark theme and these kind of things the dark theme is also perfectly fine if you want to try it out you can simply click here and you will be able to check out the dark theme and okay so we have just enabled it and here it is now we have just enabled this dark theme so if you want to try out dark theme dark theme is also one of the coolest things out there but i sometimes don't use dark theme i always choose the light theme because that suits better to me so whatever suits you you can choose that that one of these kind of things sound storage privacy location everything is fine here including that we have the face lock option available here too but unfortunately we don't have the app locker available so this is also a little bit of disappointing thing for some users but yes we can use the third party apps also if you want to for the app lock accessibility digital well-being google system a lot more things we already know about if you go for the explore where we have a lot of customizations let's talk about these kind of things which we have right now if you go for the status bar customizations, traffic indicator is one of the cool kind of things, but I sometimes use a third party app for this kind of things because I also want to check out how much data I have consumed till now. So this is not good for me. I sometimes don't use that. Double tap to or double tap on status bar to sleep is also one of the cool things. System icons, battery customizations as expected. We have the option to customize your battery icon right now from here. We have the roaming indicator, data disabled icon, which you can enable also if you want to try it out voti icon you can enable directly if you want to but i had i had already disabled that because my idea carrier does not support voti much so i've disabled that other things have the clock customizations if you go over the quick settings we have a little bit of extra features here at here and there like auto brightness icon we have the option to edit animations like animation style animation duration and tiles animation interpolator other things we already know like notifications buttons lock screen gestures have a little bit of options like the system navigation where you can use the full screen gesture in my case i have enabled that so i didn't got the ime switcher spacer behind the keyboard three finger gesture and playback control miscellaneous have a little bit of things like the auto enable on battery saver gaming mode use framework values and all these were the things we have in this latest Pexi OS build which is officially available for a lot of devices. Now if you want to install it out the link for this build is in the description you can go and install this. This was all thanks for watching goodbye.